Salam everyone, how's everyone doing? Hope everyone is well. In today's video we will be discussing the different types of Caucasian dogs based on their regions. The Aboriginal dogs of the Caucasus Mountains range from many many territories, territories such as Armenia, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Karachecha, Kesha, Kabardino, Balkaria, North Ossetia, Inga Ossetia, Chechnya, Dagestan. Here I'll show you the different types. And most importantly this is a ancient land race dog, meaning this breed was formed over thousands of years and shaped by natural selection. Subtypes do exist even without selective breeding due to changes made by climate and social conditions of the native people. In general, the dogs in the mountains have a body type and coat adapted to the climate, longer coats, broader skulls and a heavier build. While in the plains regions, dogs are often long legged and shorter coated. Regardless of type, these dogs all have in common a certain goal, that is the job which they provide for the people, watching over and guarding livestock from threats or a use as a general purpose watchdog. Without the Caucasian Shepherd dog, there would be a huge financial loss to the people. Economic success for shepherds in these regions rests upon the ability of their dogs. Let's start with discussing Georgian Mountain Dogs, otherwise known as Nagazi. These are the most recognisable Caucasus dogs and were mostly taken by the Russian military to create the modern type by mixing with other breeds. In general, the Nagazi type is more aggressive compared to the Southern Caucasus type. The build is generally bigger boned even in the plain types. The white coloration is a desired look in Georgia, so many of the Georgian mountain dogs you will see will have this. They are very similar to the Akbash dog and I believe over the years the Akbash has originated from Georgia. In Georgia, there is a region called Tosheti, which holds the Abano Pass. This is a formidable track which shepherds take. In the villages of Tosheti, summers offers lush green grass for grazing, but autumn comes early to the highlands, and by early October, Tosheti shepherds round up their flocks and begin to move before winter grips the mountains. The dogs here are slightly different, but share the same characteristics of the Nagazi type. We now move on to the Azerbaijani shepherd dog also known as the Kurbasa. This is very closely related to the ancient Armenian Gampa and generally seen as a variant of the Caucasian Shepherd Dog. It comes in two distinct types. The lighter built and short haired type, known as Kanjel Dogs, are very similar in appearance to Central Asian bloodlines, whereas the heavy mountain type is not unlike most typical Caucasus types, heavy boned, bigger bodied, often have longer coats. Although crosses between these types are fairly common as well, creating a third variant. The Azerbaijani Shepherd Dogs share some ancestry with the Turkish Kangal, the Kars Dog, Kurdish Kangals and Old Mastiffs of Persia. The Kangal variety is one of the progenitors of the modern Kangal breed, but some Turkish fanciers believe that the Azeri Dogs are the descendants of the Kangal and not its ancestors. Some claim that the region has a strong connection to the Balkans due to the tribal migrations and Alexander the Great's rule in the past. Some Azeri dogs look nearly identical to Balkan breeds such as the Sarplanic. It would be hard to deny some ancestry to Balkan breeds. There is also a rare black and tan variety which is thought to be a remnant of the ancient Sylvan stock. Although such dogs aren't as valued by the herdsmen as they are generally too aggressive to work with sheep and are most likely used as property guardians and fighting dogs. Azri dogs are often relatively light in build, not massive, and the skull isn't as wide or domed. Azri shepherds often don't want their dogs to be aggressive towards humans, so it's largely bred away from. We now move over to Armenia. The dogs of Armenia can be slightly different in temperament from the Georgian dogs. Whether Georgian dogs may be very sharp or aggressive towards strangers, Armenian gampers are bred away from aggression towards humans. Due to the differences in culture, it is necessary Armenian dogs can be more tolerant of humans and focused only on animal predators. This type also tends to bond very closely with their family due to the difference in shepherding culture as well. Where the humans are with the sheep around the clock, therefore the people are with the shepherd dogs. Unlike in the north of Caucasus regions where the dogs may be alone with the sheep for a days at a time, the Armenian dogs desire to be with the people as much as they desire to be with the flock. This is not a good dog to leave in a pasture alone with little interaction from the family. You can see here a photo from the 1940s. The train station in Armenia where the dogs were collected waiting to be taken to Red Star Kennel to be part of the breeding program for the modern type of Caucasian of Charka. 
It should be noted, although the modern Caucasian Shepherd has Armenian ancestry, Armenian Gamper Dogs are considered a breed apart from the Caucasian Shepherd. The Armenian Gamper Dog is a land race dog, but it is speculated to be the most ancient of all the Caucasus dogs. Because New Azerbaijan was under Armenian rule not too long ago, most Azerbaijan Shepherd Dogs are considered Armenian Gampers genetically, given the dogs go much further back than the politics. From an Armenian point of view, Azeri dogs are still Armenian Gampers. Armenian Gamper tend to be the step type, very long legged, with a narrower skull and light frame. The head is less domed than the North Caucasus dogs and the stop to the muzzle is less abrupt. Karachay Cherkesha is mostly an economy based on agriculture and livestock. You can see that many dogs are similar to the other so-called breeds such as the Kango, Akbash, Gampa, etc. The foundations of the dog are the same. Regions and culture slightly change the dog's characteristics, that's all. The dogs from Karachay Cherkesha are great protectors and are heavy built similar to Georgian dogs. They are great natural fighters and tend to compete in combat, which is an old tradition. The climate is very rough, making the dogs larger built than those on plain fields. A great set of dogs originate from this region, with the current famous champion, Digit 2. Cavadino Balkaria and Sesha share similar dogs. They are compact, wide, built dogs with serious power. They are not as long as dogs from Chechnya and other regions of the Caucasus, but make up for an explosive strength. They have a large dome-like skull that comes with a serious bite. They are great protectors of livestock and humans, capable of taking down predators from bears, wildcats, wolves, etc. Aboriginal dogs from this region have been taken to countries such as Ukraine, Russia to mix with the blood with other types to create strong combat dogs. Chechenia holds dogs with a very strong, rigorous character. They survive in harsh climates and terrain. Many dogs from here compete across the Caucasus in combat and tend to do very well. They are large built and long in appearance. The coat is very thick and dense. Many dogs from here are brown, brindle and dark orange. The head structure is huge and like Georgian dogs. They are great protectors against man and predator. One of the famous dogs to come from here is Malish, who defeated Limousine. Malish was a dog that came out of nowhere to compete, had around five trials and disappeared. He was a true mystery. Finally we can talk about the Dagestan type. The characteristics are very similar to that of a Georgian and Karachay Chekesha variant. They are very fierce in nature and survive in harsh climates and mountainous regions. The coat is very thick and can adapt to all weathers. Some of the great blood has come from Dagestan. Kaplan, who is a famous dog who is considered a dream shepherd, was born in Dagestan. He is the great grandson of Barboza, grandson of Dato and nephew of Domboy. He is also the father of Goroch and grandfather of Jebi. This region personally, I believe, holds the best combat dogs. Many dogs from this bloodline are here today, being very successful as livestock protectors, property guardians and competing in combat tournaments. I hope this video gives you all a better understanding of the different types of Caucasian dogs. I have tried my best to summarise each type as best as I can. There are many great videos scheduled over the foreseeable future on my channel. To make sure you don't miss out, hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Make sure to hit the like button and share with friends and family. I hope to see you all again inshallah. Allah Hafiz.